Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome to another Total War Troy preview video. This is our final one as we wrap up all eight factions with Aeneas, the Lord of Dardania. And our starting situation will be normal. We're located slightly north of the city of Troy, guarding the Hellas Point. And our victory condition, it's very similar for the Total War victory condition, but the, for the Homeric one, it's actually quite interesting. We have to finish 11 steps of our epic mission chain, and we also have to destroy or confederate Messenia and Sparta, so Agamemnon and uh, Menelaus' faction. And then we need to have 300 favor with all the gods and goddesses. So that is actually quite interesting challenge in my opinion, but perhaps it's something that plays right into Aeneas' hand. So just keep that in mind as we look at his unique faction mechanics. He has Divine Omen, spends resource in a sacrifice to be given missions by the gods, complete the missions to earn extra divine favor. So I guess this is how you get those 300 points with each of the gods, by sacrificing some of your resources to be given missions by the gods and completing them to earn yourself more divine favor. And then we have Stegan's voice. You can converse with the dead heroes for their wisdom to gain a variety of effects. When you do, happiness and divine favor will drop. As important heroes die in the war, you can converse with them too. As you expand, you might come across the ancient hero's final resting place, which will allow you to converse with them. So this is playing into the lore of how Aeneas, after he escaped Troy after the fall, uh, went to Rome, founded Rome, and uh, was able to explain some of the things by saying that he is you know, blessed by the god, said to be the son of Aphrodite, so he had to speak to the dead. And uh, that's how it's going to play out here, because there's going to be a nice list of dead heroes that we can talk to and get uh, different effects from. Uh, but at the same time, by being the guy who can talk to the dead, happiness and divine favor will drop in our faction. As for our army playstyle, Aeneas' roster is infantry based with big varieties of decent cheap light units which can be used as human wave attacks before heavy infantry engage the battle. So just coming from a Zhangjiao campaign from Three Kingdoms, this reminds me of our Peasants Rush and it seems like to be something that's very um, possible with Aeneas here. Uh, the only hero we cannot recruit are the Protector class. And of our unique units, we have Dardanian Chargers, two-handed club heavy infantry that are excellent at charging, has some javelins on them, and they have improved flanking attack. Uh, these are going to be your late game heavy uh, infantry assault troops. And then you have Dardanian Rebels. So these are the expendable, excellent morale light unit that you can throw around. These are the two-handed spear uh, wielding ones. So they have better charge, pretty decent damage, and pretty good morale. And because they're expendable, if they start routing and dying, all your other troops will not care. And then you have your Fearless Swordsmen. Uh, they're experts in flanking once again. They have uh, heavy, so this is the heavy sword version where you had the heavy club version. Also carries two javelins with them and they have flanking defense. So this is more the defensive heavy troop whereas the club is more the offensive heavy troop. And then you have Dardanian defenders. This is another club and shield heavy unit. Uh, this one's also flanking defense uh, improved. So same idea here with uh, your club and sword unit. And this one, yeah, they have a two-handed club versus a one-handed with shield. So this guy has no shield, he's the charger. He's more of the offensive threat. And finally, we have the Dardanian mob. This is the upgraded version of the rabble. And you have the similar idea of being expendable and having high morale, but you have a little bit less damage, a little less charge bonus, but you get shields. So in my opinion, I'm not sure if this shield is worth it. If we are sending them in to die, maybe just rabbles is fine. Uh, we have no shield, no range block chance, but we have higher damage and higher charge. So I feel like the two-handed spear might be the way to go if you're going for a human wave attack, as they put it here. So with that said, let's take a look at our hero himself. The mighty warrior Aeneas was the son of love goddess Aphrodite, and the first cousin of Priam, and second only to Hector in military prowess among the allies of Troy. According to the Iliad, when Aeneas faced certain death in battle, the gods themselves interceded to spare his life. 
As Lord of Fertile and Prosperous Dardania, he fought with honor and dignity, commanding the vast number of conscripts at his disposal to overwhelm his enemies at the battlefield. The god of Olympus may have had a greater destiny in mind when they decided to favor a Dardanian ruler. In the Aeneid, Virgil um, claims that the king and his men fled west after the Trojan War, settling in Italy where they became the progenitors of the Roman people. Aeneas himself was believed to be the ancestor of Romulus and Remus, the legendary founders of Rome. And our bonus for our background is we gain favor to Aphrodite's per one per turn, not very much, but it helps, and minus 10% upkeep of light infantry unit. Light infantry unit, cheap and expendable. So with that uh, set, let's go claim our destiny. Paris of Troy must pay! Oh, great-hearted Aeneas. Your cousin Hector is King Priam's eldest son and Troy's greatest warrior. He is well aware of the danger coming from the West. Brother, your foolish passion has doomed us. Fear not, noble cousins. I stand with you. Recent incursions from the Aeolians devastated Arisbe. You are now at war with King Merops. Look to the northern bank of the Hellespont. The hostile Chersonesos seek control of this strategically vital peninsula. Beside the sacred springs of Scamandros, your cousin Hector rules wisely in the name of King Priam. His brother Paris rules from a well-built city overlooking the Aegean. In the Western Isles, another of Troy's princes, God-touched Troilos, protects the coast from hostile incursions to aid all seafarers. Secure your holdings. Then aid your cousins against the coming Achaean storm. Alrighty, so let's see. We have how we play. Divine Omens. Pius Aeneas is a son of Aphrodite and firmly believes in the great destiny the Olympians have in store for him. Occasionally he can perform missions in the name of a god to gain their divine favor. And we can also... Uh, we also claim we can communicate with the denizens of the underworld, spirits of the fallen hero of the past. In this way, he can tap into their wisdom, although the commoners abhor these activities, considering them unnatural. And our first job is to engage the army right next to us and uh, get rewarded for food and bronze. And let's take a look at where we start. So we have some friendly neighbors to the north, and this faction here, they apparently raided this piece of land, this county here that produces wood, that should belong to our province, which has actually another county over here also under their control, and more over here. Okay, so this seems to be kind of our expansion path along the coast first. And if we are looking at things, our Aeneas army, Dardania. coastal club fighters, Anatolian Swords, Dardanian Spear, Axe Charger, Light Skirmisher. We don't actually get any of our mobs. I want to run some mobs at people. But we do have 9 units, which is quite a lot. And they only have 5. And this is deserted, so we can colonize that with some of our men and resources. Um, let's see. I want to check out what our unique special buildings are. So Haswa Hut. Plus 5 to casualty replenishment in this province. That sounds very good. Plus 2 happiness, plus 2 starting rank of priestesses. Minus 4 influence. Oh, we have very low influence in our area. It's going up though. And uh, unlocks uh, our mobs. So very useful building in my opinion. Uh, we do want to upgrade this. And because our harbor buildings actually give us coastal fighters. That's why we can have a few of them in our army as well. Hmm, we have a very different roster, even from some of the Trojan ones. Some of our upgraded ones are similar, but all of these are a little bit different. 
Okay, the charger is here. Very high level building. These are our other three unique units, and these two. Aeneas is chosen, increased rank. Okay, those are for the elite unit discounts. Great Temple of Aphrodite. So for our mother, we get discounts for our unique units or some of our oh, higher level units, not even unique unit. These are just the renowned. What are they? Renowned uh, sworn sor sworn fighters. Where are they? Huh. I don't see them. Plus 5 growth. Okay. 300 favor. That's nice. And 15 influence. Ah. They're part of the temple building chain. Very interesting. So we're very god focused. A very priestess focus, I guess, as well. Okay, so it's kind of a religious slash mob play style. Very interesting. Uh, we have some sort of happiness boost because we're not getting affected very hard by the difficulty. Your tribal culture gives us plus seven happiness. Okay, so we are quite different from the children factions. Um, well, we can That's start things off it. with the army uh, battle, but let's maybe check out diplomacy and see who we can deal with. So these are neighbors to the north, off the coast. These are to the east, also to the east. Down south. This is the enemy of Paris and Hector in the beginning. They don't want deals with us right now. They would take a full military alliance though, which is interesting. Okay, let's assume there's nothing too major to have. I mean, I kind of want to deal I'm with them, to hear although out. we're supposed to attack them as well. So maybe it'll be a very offensive campaign here in the beginning where we just rush people down. Maybe we should build a temple. Maybe we should actually... We don't have a lot of food. I just noticed that. Slingers. We don't really care about slingers. We want... Maybe we want this. Pray to our mom. Spear units. Extra morale. Minus fatigue. Athena looks very useful if we're going to go mob with spear units. Maybe this is the way to go. So maybe that's what we should consider when we uh, build an altar. We need more wood. We're very resource poor, it seems. I mean, we did build this, so it, it did cost us a bunch of wood, but having so little food feels weird. I'm still going to get this, though, because we are going to get a food producer soon. And wood is just we need it to build up. For quite a bit of stuff. Um, now that we know we lack food, let's have a chat. There is much to discuss. Yeah, there is. Would you give us around like 150? Oh, he is very stingy. Okay, we're not gonna talk to you then. No one has spare food. Very interesting. How about our brothers? Oh, not bro cousins. Well, Hector, maybe we need to talk Given about this. Given how the gods favor Aeneas, I'm right to trust him. Yeah, that's way too much. All right, two twenty-one food per turn to get a military alliance with Hector. Yeah, let's do that. It's fine. Without If he drags us into wars, I don't think the war is going to come to our door. He's going to take care of it. Paris, on the other hand, doesn't have a lot of food. He's not willing to depart with it, I guess. All right, we're, we're fine. Let's just keep it for now. Um, even though we can't afford much. Destined we get food after place. battles and stuff, and I'm sure these units are cheap. Yeah, 200 only. So we can recruit even with our 600, we're fine. 
And we're going to look to spam these things and see if that actually works. But let's first start this fight. Leave none alive. We did not look at our items, but we can check it here. We have our unique helmet that gives us armor. Uh, we don't know any other boost. Uh, sure to probably take a look. Uh, this one is so off balance. I feel like we can probably just delegate this. Don't hold back. We have a very similar fighting style like Hector. Use our shield on the ground and then slash our sword. But Hector is a spear. Up. Okay. Uh, we'll take food. There's no point taking replenishment because we're about to tank our replenishment. Alright, nice win. We won. Thank the gods. We leveled up. Ooh. Eonian blood, what does this give us? Plus 10 diplomatic relationship to Eonian factions. So we're not the same culture as the Trojans who are the Pelasginians or the Greeks. And Master of Stone and Timber, minus 3% construction costs, present in region during building construction. Okay, so we just gotta be inside a settlement when we were building. That could be very useful. We are a builder, kinda like him. Uh, we get the standard stuff from Epic Hero, building stuff, plus 10 happiness in province scaling with local Ionia influence. Okay, so up to 10. Right now we're at 7, so our influence is not that high. Um, minus 10% upkeep, okay. Light infantry. So these are not light. These are, see the, the shape, the diamond shape? These are medium. This is light infantry. Maybe we Take should. Pride in this success. Hmm. Born survivor. So we don't have enough wood, it seems. Can we still colonize though? No, we can't. Um, that means we have to get a trade deal done. And we could cancel, also cancel a building, but trade is just going to be easier. Let's get this over with, kinsman of Priam. Yeah, he's willing to depart with some of his wood. Not that much wood. Okay, that's enough to tide us through. Indeed. And uh, colonize. Ceaseless duty. Bring their doom. With honor. All right, so the units got knocked out pretty hard, right? We could opt to get rid of some of these. That's what I'm thinking. Like these are very expensive. They're good. I mean, these cost bronze. All right, let's get rid of these. Enemies beware! Son of Aphrodite. Excellent armor, piercing damage, two-handed axe, medium units. I will right, we'll keep this group. They only all cost food, so we can deal with that and. We'll keep one range unit. I still didn't check our skills. Provides rage when activated. Plus 50% melee attack. Self affects ally in range. Plus flanking defense. That's not bad. And then we can increase the radius or increase the defensive values. 10% defensive values. This is just giving 50% melee attack, which is actually hit chance. So this is actually strong, but it's only self. So it's like making ourselves stronger. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe we want this. We want charge. Right, we're actually running infantry. We want this on top of that. Two-handed weapon, two-handed spears. Disciples of Ares. Okay. And yeah, we're gonna recruit. Ally of Troy. Can we build anything here? 582. Well, whenever we need something, diplomacy is the way. What can I do for noble Aeneas? Well, Trollos. Also our cousin. Apparently you can't do very much.
but we'll take that. I said. Oh, who else can give us something? Given not, a not a lot of so points. Divinely favored, I should listen. Well, everyone's like, basically like, oh, you can talk to the gods. You are favored by the gods. Let me be friends with you. Aldrich. Uh huh. We're out of friends. Let's get this over with, kinsman of Priam. We can trade. Hold on. Are we producing gold? We're not. All right. Maybe we just wait a turn. I don't want to actually trade for all the all the resources. Hmm. Okay. All right. We're good. We'll just wait a turn to build this up. We got a decree picked. I think we're good. We'll build up a force and we'll rush that down. Let's just continue. Alright, upgrade any settlement building, which we'll do right away. Get full control of the settlement. Issue a decree. Issue a command. Okay, all the standard things. No hesitation. More. As you say. And we're gonna build this, and he's gonna stand here and uh, receive the building. Hopefully, leveling up his trait for the future. And we do have a bit of wood. We can get more stone. Minus one construction time by losing influence. Our influence is not doing that great, to be fair, but we're still gaining, which means the uh, Aeolian influence is also not very high. But I don't think we can afford to lose four. I don't... I mean, the minus one construction turn is nice. And this wouldn't return much. Because our influence is not going up fast enough to get over 60 points. So I feel like maybe this is the way to go here. Alright. We have excess food, so we can probably... Right, we didn't look at these. Let's do this. So this is Divine Omens, available in three turns. We spend 300 food, 50 bronze, and 20 gold, which is actually quite expensive. We read the omens, and then one, the god will give us a mission. By completing it, we get Divine Favor. We'll check it out in three turns. And this is the dead heroes. So... Basically, we'll have this huge list, potential dead heroes incoming. And uh, we can talk to them, lose favor with all gods, ghastly ritual, duration two turns of minus five happiness. And we get six turns of minus 20 construction cost to all main buildings. Interesting. We get plus 400 food for him. Minus 5 happiness, okay. Plus 15% campaign movement rate at C, plus food growth. Six turns of, okay, they're not that good. This one might be kind of good if you have a lot of main buildings, perhaps. But I don't know if losing favor with all gods is worth it. Um, all right, we're building up. We can wait it out. Let's continue. All right, we hit our first troop milestone. We're going to go for the full truth unit. So we built the Athena temple now that Athena's kind of respected in our faction. Uh, only she's a hundred. We need to be over 300 for the next tier. So now we have extra morale and um, reduced fatigue. We'll use this when she's dropping, I guess, and we'll get a priestess right away. Get ourselves an agent. We want the... I guess it doesn't matter who... I guess we get Athena anyways. We don't have enough gold. Hmm. Gold is actually very hard to get. Okay, Paris can get us a defensive deal. But we might as well get an offensive one. Come, friend. What words do you have for me? 
Oh, he only has 10? No. Um, he has a lot of food to spare, but maybe he can give us some per turn as well. 10 per turn, okay. Um, I'm gonna grab a bunch. I don't think I need that much stone. Wood is always kind of needed. 50. And then we'll use the food to balance the rest out. Okay. No problem. So next turn we have enough for a priestess. Or maybe we can trade for three more with someone else. That could be possible too. Sarpedon. Do you have three gold? Yes you do. We have more than three gold. He has 90 gold. He can part with most of them. Well, okay, that's a lot of gold. Very happy about this. Maybe bronze even. Yeah, we're really pushing it. There we go. Now we can afford our priestess. I'm pretty sure we should just stick to Athena first. It's better to keep it high, I guess, since we're going to be hectacombing and also we want more spear related bonus. Let's go. And we can use her next turn. She comes in at a high rank. I think this is from the temple bon uh, benefit plus, or actually no. It's from one of our buildings. There we go. Our unique building is giving us the extra levels. What do we want? Plus 10% uh, oration of the dread, which does what? Which reduces morale of all en enemies. Prophecy of doom, which Prevents character from moving. Oh, that's actually kind of useful. Uh, mainly foreign agents. Or well, actually only for foreign agents. Plus 5% favor the god from ritual and settlement. That's good. Plus 7% action cost. That's not as good. But basically this helps us gain divine favor with the god of the temple. 10% of good omens from sacrifices. We embed it from our army. Oh, this helps us get like... Um, Extra stats, pre-battle positive effects. If we want to embed her. But I think we want her to just stay in a settlement and give us more ritual. Whoa, what is this? Doombringer? Why would we want this? Okay, we're not going to get that. We're going to go from Strict to Thusayer. And we're just going to, you know, put her in the settlement and all that good stuff once she gets movement back. And meanwhile, we're going to go with more chargers. Alright, so that will put us nicely at 16. And then we'll run like three more chargers and maybe one javelin. Why do we have him? Oh well, we need some elite troop, I guess. So that's all the recruitment. We have a lot of food. We can definitely trade them. But the food is worth very little. Alright, high influence is kind of out of the window. I guess it'll still have to be this. Arbor for growth. Waiting for population surplus so we can upgrade these. Stone can't wait. Probably want to focus on wood first. Alright, we're good. Just waiting for more Founder units. Oh, we should probably take a look at ourselves in terms of items. We didn't... Oh, we only have our hat. Okay, alright. That's sad. Let's continue. Alrighty, new turn. Um, Aeneas hold on. Dardania. It doesn't seem defended. Maybe we should just grab it first. Victory awaits. Oh, I lied. I lied. Cover the ground. We keep recruiting. Delay. That will not work. Hmm. And the garrison. 
Well, at least it's not a big settlement, but oh, wow, it's a lot of garrisons. I can't see over here, but I'm assuming that's at least eight units, nine units, nine units, two generals, nine units. Hmm. Oh, well, we'll figure out something. We have the growth, but we don't have the wood. Just sad, but we'll wait for that. We have our agent. She has not moved. We want her to perform these rituals. Cost food. Perfect. We have tons of food. 21 favor. Oh, we gotta do this like every turn then if we wanna keep it going. Uh, wrong click. We want divine will. We're at 121. Okay. Preferably we move it to Mentor of Heroes Celebrated. We can also do this. We get 80 because we have a temple. Yeah, let's use our food. It'll go on cooldown, but like eventually... Oh, we can get more unit capacity, but it costs us 30 gold. Oh, we should have done this. Uh, I don't know if we should have done this earlier. We should probably wait till she's in Celebrated, then this gets even stronger. Alright. Let's really wait for more recruitment and continue. All right, we want us to be maximum strength. We're one unit away. Upgrade settlement to I max level. We're also waiting for the replenishment here, so they're almost done too. So this will work out actually perfectly. Uh, for the last unit, we'll get another javelin. Oh then we have plenty of expendable frontline troop. So we want to get the wood one upgraded first. Get us some more wood, and uh, keep praying. We got the food. Two turn cooldown, never mind. So gaining 21, which is not even good for three turns before we can do it again. Feels like it's really hard to sustain this god. Hmm. Oh well. Let's continue. And they ran out to attack our settlement. The wood producing settlement that our army is not in right now. Because we're here waving our sword recruiting. Recruiting, um... Oh, they have just malicious. It's not like they have a strong troop, but I don't think we can win this. Look at the bar. All right, we'll let them win. I, I don't even think I can create more casualties by fighting it. Uh, we'll let them have it. Oh, oh poor guy. We failed you. All that wood wasted upgrading. Alright, so we got maximum strength. We did lose a settlement, but it's an opening where we can take their settlement. I cannot oblige. What can we do with him? Reduce morale. Yeah, let's do that. 120 food. The gods disfavor will drive them back. Critical success, okay. Maybe we don't attack them, and we go for this right now. Take it back. Strike them down. All right, so we are favored. Um, if I don't mess this up, that is. And it, their garrison's not recovered. Their units pretty much all healthy. I think we can do this. Let's fight. I want to use the mob. All righty, we'll take a dry. Actually, we can play wait. Let's even get fog. Rain. Three days of rain. Okay. Well, um, where are the enemy? No idea. Where are the enemy reinforcement? Or is it garrison on the map at the same time? Oh, look at that mass of unorganized... Actually, let's do six units each. It seems like we have 12 of them. We'll call this first group. And I guess instead of stacking them, we should actually go wide. And we should just run past lines and try to flank with them as we go. Maybe, I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but... Trying this out, we'll see what happens. Okay, I feel like we're a warlord. 
Our ability is extra speed and stamina on allies. So we'll be the catch up group. You guys will be in the middle with our generals. Elite troops, quote unquote. Not sure if they're actually elite, but they will trail behind. Stretch this against them. Stretch this against them. Three. Move up to this hill. Try to fight him. Blank. Wait, was there a symbol there? Oh no no no. Okay. Your warriors have spotted hidden foes. Charge! 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 Alright, we got two guys who broke through the other side. One of them was flank. General's going. Oh, we're already routing them. Well, they're injured, so a lot of them are not in the best shape. Your hero! Is under attack. As we route them, he can go this way. Oh, what are you guys doing? Go the other way. Yeah, come, come flank. We got one fleeing. Okay, expendable. Your warriors have been routed. Go, go, go. We're routing them. Mob them. They're all running away. Where's the other general? I'll go take him. They bounce back. Keep going. By Ares, your warriors are rallying. They rally back. Stay on someone. Yeah, heard the heard the range units over. The elite boys are here. Your warriors mm. are losing heart. They bounce back. Take them. We're getting stuck on this guy. Your warriors are rallying. Yeah, I think mob works very well. Obviously, if we could get like two stacks, um, you know, it'd be better. We want the numbers advantage if we don't have the quality of troops. And plus, this battle, they have very low morale because our priestess did work. Critical success on that. Can we get to the general? Kill that. He keeps boosting his men. Ooh, lightning. They're also rallying back. That's okay. We got much more men than they do. Still chasing the range. He rallied back. Victory is close enough to taste. Where are we? Use this again. Actually, just generals are fine. We can play pull the units away. Wasting our men on that one javelin, which is dead now. Mm, pretty good combat, I will say. Got a couple hits on us. Nice back and forth. How does he even have 
Oh, he reached my How does he even have the morale? One of your units That's what I'm saying. No more ammunition. Nice. Alrighty. Oh, disarm him. Okay, more than disarm him, but that's a nice disarm. We lost 800-ish. That's okay. Got a lot of food. And we'll just be occupying our own territory back. My worth is proof. So do we lose the upgrade? Yeah, we lost about a thousand wood there. So what we want to do here, given that we have um, recruitment slots available, is you want to merge units. So this is something that you don't do in Three Kingdoms. But if you have two units who are duty. low health, you can merge them and they will combine their group. And that way you can kind of keep the experience on the unit as well. No, 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 no. We're going to do this guy and this guy. Merge. Found and then we're going to merge leaders. two more. Alright, there we go. And then we can recruit three. I understand. And we'll be max next level. Uh, already used her this turn, that's right. One more turn for the cooldown, that's perfect. We're out of wood. Um, surplus pop, yeah, we're growing. Let's continue here. We got a barter agreement. They will offer us some wood if we give them tons of copper. No. And the other one is similar, also no. Spent multiple turns recruiting. Minus recruitment cost for the whole army. Recruiter trait. Nice. Yeah, I kind of like how the trait is very well defined in terms of how you get them. And the more you do something, the better you get at something. So that's also a very nice feeling. Something that Three Kingdom really lacks transparency. Another 21 points. She levels up. We gain a trait. Independent. Plus 5%. Um... Success chance if there's no other hero agent in the local region, so we can't stay with her. But at the same time, she's part of an army. The army gets 8% campaign movement. <laughs> so it's kind of a debate what we want to do with her. I right, already picked up both of those. Plus 5% chance of success. Nice. Plus 1 happiness in local province. Oh, plus 10%. Okay, that's that's a nice combo. That's better than this. Alright, devotee. Alright, no breaks. He has at Son most five died. units. No, he only he didn't recruit, he still had two. Alright, we're not gonna fight this. This one will just delegate. Save a little time. Strike them down. Ooh. That was a good one. We lost a unit completely, or two units completely. A new and useful holding. Zapper for siege battle wins. Nice. We also grabbed ourselves a bronze dagger, a weapon that we can use, plus six melee. Robin secured. I think it's just a That's common a item. I don't think it's anything special. Yeah, it's a common item. We did level up. So we can actually give our troops all extra charge. And we can also give two-handed troops another 10% extra charge. We lost two I units. Will I will also combine a few of these. Maybe just, yeah, these two are the lowest. Founder of dynasties. There we go. Destiny we have access to commandments now. So happiness is... A issue but not a big issue there is a religious one I believe uh, decreased cost of temples not so key minus 15% cost plus 2 rank oh we already recruited our agent though all resources happiness happiness I mean that's not the solution, I don't think so. The growth is nice. Yeah, maybe we need growth. We have a lot of buildings to upgrade. So our lumber is at 2. This one is at level 1. I don't need this building. I want to upgrade it. I also want building here for more wood. I want this one. We need a lot more wood for that. 
We need to spend some bronze. Yeah, let's do that. And yeah, we'll Dark keep attacking. Daddy. Get more wood here. I think that's everything. Right, the one we can't afford, we don't want to build, so let's continue. And they're offering wood for bronze. He's unfriendly, so I feel like we should wipe him out. So, no. Non-aggression pack neutral. Where are you? Oh, but these guys are going to be enemies of Hector. I don't know if I should actually get a non-aggression pack. And plus, they're asking us for stuff, so nope. Alright, so we're getting dragged into a war. Um, or actually, they're declaring war on us. They have an ally. Oh, they're helping their ally. That's correct. That's fine. We want this war. Call our allies to help. Uh, if Paris doesn't... Alright, let's not do it. I don't want our allies to say no and then we lose the ally. Alright, Royal Decree. Commune with the ancient hero Ilias vowed. Okay. Let's do it. Let's try our new mechanic. Plus 100 wood per turn. We got the Lumber Decree. We want two provinces. The first, before we forget, get a decree. We want some gold growth. And, um. What is our current level? 177. So we'll drop a little with her if we go commune with the dead, but we might as well. They want us to do this one. We get decreased cost to main building upgrades. Oh yeah, that's not bad. So we just click on it and we get what? We lose 10 points to all gods and minus 5 happiness. The gods bless. But we get less than the paths. So we get some growth. We get some extra experience. I guess it's worth Aeneas leaves the tent under the expectant glare of all those gathered outside. I bring tidings from the underworld. <laughs> yeah, this is not weird at all. You know, your leader goes goes into his tent, comes out, says, I just talked to the ghosts. I will take more food, actually. And these were cheaper to construct for these six turns, so we should actually pump both of these out as soon as possible. Our armies are ready to fight. First, let's go here. Destined for greatness. All right, they're weak already. I think we took their most uh, strongest army out already. None alive. Don't hold back. Not worried about casualties. Ooh, I like that one. That one's a good move. But we did lose a lot of men here. We might sack it for replenishment. Two percent. Or loot and occupy me and not sack it. 2% maybe not. Not worth. Occupy the city. Ooh, we found a warrior. Oh, we can recruit warriors here. Female creatures with a strange reputation. So Amazons. I'm guessing. I might be wrong. Daring. Get some movement. Alright. Army defense. definitely took a beating. We want our special building here. They have a lumber warehouse. It's not a bad building, but I'm gonna get rid of it. Uh, five turns of population growth. I wish it could go faster. If we grab that, there's a harbor there. So I think that could help us. Merge. We can't recruit that anymore, which is weird. Which is not, it's not weird. It's just not good for us. But we're going to go for that, just take it, and then we're going to try to recruit again. Oh, never mind. That's the faction that just came to declare Beyond war on us. Uh, two armies. I'm afraid I you guys can't. have to come now. Twenty four percent enemy Asian action. Okay, so protect us from enemy Asian action. Also reduce the turn we are wounded. Or we can just get better morale. We get 20% movement back after battle. That sounds really good. Stealing spoils from a fallen victory. A falling victory. See, stealing spoils, I, I'm feeling like that's taking items. That sounds really cool. 
Minus upkeep health for all heroes of action white. Ooh, wow, this is tough. Both of these are really good. Items? Or, oh, I kind of want this. I feel like that's going to be great. All right, let's get, grab that. What do we do about our army situation, Some though? This doesn't look good for us, getting surrounded by those two armies after taking this, after Academy victory. Dardania's lord. We can't escape. We're in a garrison. This is like the I worst case situation. We could just invest in a general, which I feel like is the way to go here. Ooh, Athena. That's who we have. He likes to fight against weaker armies. Oh, not picky, huh? Ends in a turn in our own province with negative populace. Do we have negative populace? Is populace happiness? Or is this local populace plus eight? I'm not sure. A little confused there. Let's check out the others. High foreign influence. That is actually true. We have high foreign influence. And we like to win in foreign battles. We don't like to be garrison or camp. We don't like to fight in our own territory. That's kind of really picky. He likes to be garrisoned. He doesn't like high influence. He likes to raid. He likes to garrison. He likes to win battle as defender. But he's a fighter type. He doesn't like to enter in enemy territories. He doesn't like to force march. Oh, so, so everyone's so picky. Um, let's see. We don't have that much food, actually. I'm preparing for this army to get wiped. As sad as that sounds. He likes to kill captives. For morale boost. He doesn't like to occupy settlements. They're all so picky. I think this guy's easiest for us to control. Alright, we can easily garrison him after every fight. Not put him in enemy territory. He can play a defender role for us. He likes to win battles as defender. Synergize as well. Let's recruit him. And they're in different provinces, so we can actually recruit here. No problem. We're still going to recruit. Maybe this is our chance to pick up a few more range. Alright, let's hope they can build up while we probably get smashed by both of them together. Let's see. Oh, non-aggression pack. Uh, they will give us wood for this non-aggression pack, which I feel like since they're friends with our buddies, let's say yes. Alright, here they come. Here they come. First army there, second army coming for the attack to finish. Oh, he can't make it. Oh, we lucked out. He was on march mode, that's what we were seeing the distance. Uh, we're not trading stone for wood. Right, we're getting sieged, but they didn't make us reinforcements. That's excellent. We didn't get to recruit our units because we're With getting sieged. Honor. They can come in I as re uh, reinforcements. We have, oh, we have level ups too. He is a fighter, so he's good at killing things, I'm assuming. Increase armor piercing damage, increase weapon damage, attack interval decreases, loses stamina. A straight up damage increase, plus 6 charge to hero, so it's, everything's boosting himself. Like he just gets stronger. Against sword, so this is like a unit killing thing. But this is just regular attack, hit rate. Five per second. Health cost. Oh, so we're throwing health for Frenzy. Hmm. Pierce armor. Cheaper cost to pierce armor. I guess we can pierce armor or just give him extra charge. Reduce fatigue. Increase delay when rage is depleted after leaving comp. So we can actually keep our rage for a little longer. Plus 8 charge. Plus. So two more charge points here. I like this combo. Let's do that. Let's give up on this. 
Hmm, 100 melee damage. Actually sounds like a lot. But I think I want him to be more like a hero killer. He's defending anyways. So... My weapons are key. Let's go rescue our lord. Oh, we're not favored here. Not even close. Um... I mean, we still have to fight at this. We don't really have a choice here. They don't have range. Oh, they have zero range. Our garrison's not healed. We have three gen- This one's also not healed. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so... Uh, we'll take dry. We gotta wait for reinforcement. So, we're just gonna pull right back. The gods smile. Hmm. Reinforcement. Well, they have no range. That's one thing we have going for us. Let's get everyone on this hill. That general is basically non-existent. Has no health whatsoever. They have to come towards us. They have no range, so we'll take a good terrain and try to make it work. Alright, that's our only range units. Actually, we have one more six six guys here. Call them four, I guess. Um, we're charging these guys down. And then out of these guys, oh, we have one more here. We gotta try to get some flanking thing going. We can give allies charge bonus and speed, perfect. These guys are so weak. Skirmishers, he can go to part of four. Okay, they're taking them some time to get over here. I'm gonna try to flank with this group. Maybe from this hill. We'll lead the rabble. Can you just, yeah, stand in the back? Just don't die. Are they not coming? We're defenders. No, we're attackers. We're attackers. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not how I want this to go. All right. We're attackers. I forgot about this. We're not actually defending, we're coming out to challenge them. So, let's put them as one as well. Well, at least they have no range. So that's good for us. Alright, let's see if we can get up close. They have so many units. Hmm. Maybe we can use our general to kite a few guys out. Champion fighter. Are they both champion fighter? Champ uh, fighter ravager. So they're both fighter. I don't want to just straight on charge them. That's probably not our best play. We have range, they don't. Maybe that's our best play? We can kill some young spears right off the bat. They have no shield whatsoever. You, you chill. 
I'm gonna put him actually in like two or something. Gotta wait for our troops to get here. It, I don't know. I feel like we get overwhelmed easily by them. But they're kind of in a tough place. I don't know if they can actually maneuver well. If you know what I mean. Like, if we swarm them from this direction, it's hard for them to actually like have an even fight. We can create like this really weird fighting surface. Oh, we don't want to shoot. Uh, the forest is kind of scaring me. They might just sneak up. All right, we can. Yeah, I think we can create an opportunity here. They're trying to rotate their formations. Okay. Can we harass? They're moving up. Charging us. I run. The foe has shited your hidden units. Alright, we can create this situation where we have a huge advantage in manpower and choke them down and this side can just run your warriors have spotted hidden foes hmm, even even then I don't think we have a lot of advantage here keep moving keep moving I don't know if this I can win, that's the thing. You know, kind of not, not spread out enough. We're wasting a lot of men. That should be a flank. <sighs> if we were full health, it would be totally fine. But we're not. Can't outrun them. They're light troops. Are losing heart. Fire! 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 Keep running. Your warriors have been routed. Oh, we're losing on the other front. It's just happening, you know. Four. Start fighting back. Your hero is under attack. Oh, we're losing a lot of health fighting him. I would prefer if he doesn't die, but I can't really control that right now. If we run, I feel like our morale is just going to collapse, which might be what's happening right now. Oh no, Aeneas is gone. He's routing. Okay, the rabbles are, are gone. This side, doing okay. You have lost a unit. Oh, we lost the general for the garrison. That was expected, actually.
says. In the rally? No, he's gone. Oh, uh, uh, I don't think he rallied though. On the edge of the map, but he's not really rallying. Alright, save some of your ammo. Right, we, we won here. There's, oh, there's so many left. Hades has claimed the enemy hero. Alright, we killed one. Vanquish. Try to get them out of. Oh, actually, how many? Actually, yeah, we can four on one. I mean, they're full health. We're all low, but like, might as well. It's not worth running them out. All right, we'll just try to win here. If they can filter over one by one, maybe we have a shot. Fighter is not bad. We can use this again. Take care. You are losing ground. They're coming. Did they win? Hey, they won. Four on one worked. All right, let's try to harass them. See if any of them turn around. Can we kill this guy quickly? Any chance we can break them fully? They don't come back. Come on, 38 men still not fully broken. Alright, that's enough. We gotta go back. Oh, we got we got takers. Oh we instantly lose morale. Okay. Alright. We didn't want takers. Can I get him to like chase this guy down? Ah, they bounce back. Well, we really don't have many men left. We do have some spears. Let's see if we can throw them out before we die. Ah, <sighs> just lose morale when we see them. Ridiculous. Young Spear. Fight him alone. Oh, it's gonna get surrounded. Yeah, they're getting shredded.
One of your units has no more ammunition. Ah, they all routed. We lost. Close defeat. Okay, we'll take that. Alrighty. Well, we still kill them in the animation. Interesting. There will be other battles. Alright, so the situation is Aeneas is wounded, so we gotta recruit a new one to replace him in that army. Hmm. He likes Garrison. He doesn't like high foreign influence, that's not good. Hmm, he likes organized game. He doesn't like Hera. He likes to kill captives. I think we can use him. Like, he's pretty neutral, to be honest. And he's a fighter. Alright. So we lost some campaign movement range. We can lose this by getting victories. We did kill one of their generals, so it was not too bad. We sent someone else there to die. We're gonna go back. Uh, we cannot do much here. We'll recruit three. We're not gonna march. I don't think that's worth it. If he comes attack, we'll just uh, retreat. It'll probably take some stress off the settlement. Uh, definitely over expand it a little bit maybe maybe we need two stack I mean I had no clue like where are they even from like looking at that emblem they're not anywhere close to this right I was killing this one the one with the crab and then this one just came out of nowhere now uh, they're from over here I mean they were their allies but like there's no way I would have known they would be here but when we just took that settlement just bad timing. I am your bridge One more turn time. for that. We'll wait for that. Recruitment. Always we might... Mm, we can do this in any of our places. So Not maybe we can come over here. I don't want to embed it right now, but like... Let's get closer. And we can build some of these up. So it's cheaper right now for us to get the settlements. Let's do that. And uh, we pray for this city here. Yeah, let's continue. Alrighty, once again, uh, we have become charity here, but no. You know, we're getting attacked. Uh, they're attacking the three-man army, so we can actually retreat this. And then why can't we? We're not marched. Whoa, then I would have marched. How does this system work? I mean, we have to get wiped? I guess so. This means our general dies? Oh, our fighter. Okay, that's brutal. Wood for bronze, not a good deal. Alright, want us to build a temple, already done that, so that mission will just kick in. Recruit one agent, already done that. Is he still alive? Yeah, he died. <laughs> no big deal about the trait gain. So, we can demoralize him. And see if we can win this fight. All right, can we save this? Um, My weapons are key. Alien defeat. Um, let's fight this. All right, so once again, we have range, they don't, and we have a healthy general, so I think we can do this.
Shred the young spear. Your warriors have spotted hidden foes. Why are you guys not firing? We need you guys to be firing. Our advantage here. No, 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 stay on the general. Stay on the general. See, I don't know what these range units are doing. Like, we can see them. We're shooting into their backs. You have ability? Yeah, use it. Shred that spear unit. Shred them. Alright, they won this side. Your warriors are losing heart. No, they're not. Okay, we got this. We'll switch targets very soon. Alright, right, kill him. Better angle on these guys. He has a bigger, better angle on these guys. All right, he's almost out of morale. There we go. Oh, where did they come from? Run. Oh, we're out of ammo. Melee, melee, just fight. Can we win this? It'd be close. I think we win. Oh, we'll just make sure to use that right away. The foe has sighted your hidden units. Get back here now! Oh, we routed. No! We had health! We had abilities! Come back! No! Okay, okay, okay. Just against General now. He's routed. We make sure they stay routed. Come back. Yeah, there we go. We won. Okay. All right. We pulled it off. Saving grace here. Alrighty. The so fighters are useful. And um, ooh, nice jump. But we didn't get to kill him. I forgot what his motivations are. He. I don't think. Uh, I I forgot. But we definitely want replenishment. I improve. Okay. And with that win, uh, we're going to end our preview here. We survived. Uh, we pushed back their forces and we just have to recruit up and take this, finish off this faction, and then we'll go revenge ourselves over there. Um, Anise is fine. We did lose one general. Anise will come back uh, from the wounded and we'll be able to recruit a new band of uh, rabble. Uh, those guys are quite fun and we can build up our faction as well. So things look pretty nice for the Dardanians and for Aeneas. So I hope you guys enjoyed this preview and hope you guys enjoyed all eight previews. Thanks again to Creative Assembly for providing the early access keys. And everything you see here is a closed beta build. So if there's something that goes wrong, obviously things could change. Uh, there has been even three updates even for this closed beta build during the period of recording. So things are still changing. And uh, hopefully everyone remember to grab a free copy from Epic Game Store on August 13th when the game launches for the first 24 hours. And we'll see you guys in our full Let's Play starting also on August 13th. So see you guys then. Bye!